What's up guys, the Trickster Electricity here, bringing you... Nocturne Rebirth. Now, what is this game, you may ask? Well, it's an RPG Maker game. That's an RPG! I know! Crazy! But, I know what you're gonna ask. Why are you playing an RPG Maker game that's actually an RPG instead of playing the normal RPG Maker games, like... Horror games, like the norm, the popular, the mainstream, are you being hamster or something? No. No. Well, like, see the value of having RPG Maker games, like, as in, like, RPG Maker games that are essentially horror games, because, like, it kind of forces out of the convention. But I like this better, just the fact that you can give great storytelling, you can give anything through the introduction of RPG Maker, and... That's why I'm here recording it today to show that even if it's an RPG, even a game like this can make its own sense of work. Now, uh, coming for the config, of course, uh, that's just the uh, normal shit. And yeah, this is pretty jazz ethics. So let's start this game. The sound of wind whispering to the trees. Oh, what? Ah, god damn it. The sight of the dark, boundless sky. And the feel of the glittering moonlight shining on me. Oh, and by the way, the reason I'm recording this, and, and I'm pretty sure you don't see the FPS counter, nor do I care, um, it's because I'm recording this using the desktop recording. Because for some reason, the thing I'm using right now doesn't refuse to record like a little shit. So, okay. Okay, uh, now we got it out of way. Ah, what a wonderful night. To have a curse! Oh, sorry, I'm just making a burden. I'm causing me, I'm sorry. I feel blessed to be awake now. Hmm? I hear something different. It's the sound of someone running across crowd. I sense hair waving frantically. I sense hopelessness and desperation. How fortunate. This is truly a wonderful night. Now, let the hunt begin. <laughs> This thing is well animated. I will, I will not lie. This thing is well animated. <sighs> Damn it! Space spinning the ass. That's only because you're a dumbass. I would have caught her once if I had it chased her alone. Well, <sighs> oh, that aside. Hey, girl. You might have fooled this completely earlier, but is that really all you got? Say, boss, what about the mysterious guy? Shall we rob him along with the gal? Of course we will, Captain Obvious. It's only natural to always kill two birds with one stone, given the chance. Well, for once, you're right. Hey, chap. Oh, fuck, goddammit. I screwed it up. What's the matter? Are you seriously asking for death? Hey, you dead for satin? We won't know what you're thinking to keep quiet. Say something. Hmm. Hmm. Well, fine. I was thinking of overlooking you anyway, but you had a silence and made me change my mind. I can't believe I just changed voices and just like and spanned the three seconds, goddammit. Die. There we go, proper voice. And yeah, okay, so we're facing our first thing here. So essentially my only skill is to attack, guard, and item. Knowing as I would attack. Oh. Oh, I have more options. Equip, skill set, and ranks. Well, seeing as I'm gonna do now. Um uh, let's go to this bitch first. Ah. Oh, so it works on an active time battle system, which is nice. Yeah. 
Before taking out the leader, always take out the bastards first. And they say, Oh, everyone escape! Oh, where's your skill now, you fuckheads? Uh, okay, ranks, information, what? Oh, essentially stats, okay. Skill set, nothing, equip. I already have, like, swords, okay. So, for that, let's keep it. Alright, that's a badass sheep. <laughs> Look at that face, cocky as fuck. And, uh, let's see. And I got exactly nothing. Wow, okay. What? This guy's. He's a monster! Hmm. Retreat! Hmm. As I fought. I can't have quite unleash such as much strength as I want to after having just woken up. Okay, that's fucking horrible grammar. God damn it. Thank you so much for your help. I was truly at the loss of what to do. I I know, I'm just trying to do my best girl voice right now because my voice is really <coughs> <coughs> crap. Mm. Okay, okay. It's nothing. There's no need to die. Uh, um, can you tell me your name? My name? Yes, well, that's if you don't mind. It's Reveal. Uh, so, so, Mr. Reveal. Would you like to come to my village? Well, it, it's me, after all. My house even has a spare bed, so by all means, please come. Village? Ah, sorry, I don't mean to sound pushy. Is the village nearby? Uh, yes, it's a small village, you know? Uh, okay, so essentially, um... Yeah, uh, I think this guy's interested in something, uh, for another reason, though. I see. That means... More prey to hunt. If you don't get the joke already, he's a vampire. Or the thing you... Oh, Mr. Emilio? Very well. Let's head to the village. Oh god, okay, uh, damn. Uh, uh, not that it really matters, does it now? Sorry about that. Let's quickly head to the village. The village of Algis. Okay, okay, I know, I know, okay, okay, just, I'm just sticking into Algis because, je Jesus fuck, I'm not gonna do that. You know, I'm not gonna put that joke in there. Uh, well, here we are. Welcome to the village of Augies, Mr. Rivia. It sure is a small village. Yes, it's a very nice place to be in, though. I'm sure you'll like it here. Hmm. Let me take it to my house, then. It's just right ahead. Still on. Hmm. Sorry, Mr. Remia. I understand that you must be tired, but can you wait here for a bit? Well, it's just that I have to inform my parents that we have a guest. No problem. Sorry, it won't take long. And she turns back in. 
Seriously, this place is well detailed. And of course, obligatory shade in the tree because you're a vampire. Ha. Huh. The sound of wind whispering through the trees. The smell of dew on plants that tickles my nostrils. A small village. The sight of the dark, boundless sky. And the feel of glittering moonlight shining on me. Damn, this music is going on like a boss. What a wonderful night. Okay, so he's basically saying uh, the same shit as uh, the intro. Very truly wonderful. The eternal cycle of transmigration. Life begins in light, only to end in darkness. And that is predetermined to only repeat itself endlessly. So who's to stop me from hunting? I have the right. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. The seasons start with spring and ends with winter. Humans are born to live, live to die. Such is the history. Seriously, we're waxing lyrical here. So, uh, such is the definite truth. And such is the love. Okay, would you, would you stop me philosophical here? Yes, such as nothing more. Thank you for waiting. Is there a VL? Eh? Eh? I've spoken to my parents and they've allowed me to let you in. So please, come in. Oh, um, about my parents, please don't take to heart whatever they say, especially my mother. Okay? She's, well, kind of weird. Hmm? A anyway, please come in. Oh, Pat, this is Mr. Riviera, the man I told you about. I, I should go help my mother now. Ah, uh, <laughs> welcome, traveler. I must thank you for saving my good-for-nothing daughter in this late hour. Well, now I can get by that court that you're a piece of shit father, huh? Hmm. As you can see, this is a small village without any sightseeing spots or anything noteworthy. So, though, seeming that you must be trying for your travels, please rest here, by all means. Go on, it's late already. We have a bed ready for you, so please rest for the night. Okay, so I hope in this universe, um... Uh, uh, these uh, vampires don't work on the same way the traditional vampires do. Although that would end the game immediately if I just said, uh, if they just died when the sun r rose up, so I guess not. Anyways, since I'm probably treading up on the time limit, this is where I'll end it here. And I'll save it on this file. So, if you want to see more of this, click that subscribe button and leave your opinions in the comments. What do you think of this game? Is it fun? Or is it not fun. Eh, whatever. I don't even care. I'm probably gonna make a play for this if I feel like it, because, like, this game, RPG Maker games that are RPGs deserve more popularity, and, and it's kind of sad, really, to see that only fan games ever follow the true RPG formula, and that normal popular RPG Maker games don't. It's just sad, really. Anyways, the, real name, the, the full name is quite funny. Reviel von der Roussel. Anyways, with that, with that joke in the way, um, so yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. And remember, keep on shocking. Boop!